What's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. Today's the 27th of April, 2017, and you're looking at a video I put up well over a year ago, and everybody copied this video. Everybody re-uploaded this video. This video went pretty crazy for a long time, and still to this day. And what I was explaining was how NASA, way back in the 70s, along with Bausch and Lomb, had a patent to create a satellite type sunlight, something that they could fake sunlight with, whether it was in a chamber, whether it was in a deep underground military base, or whether it was in our ionosphere. Well, I got a lot of shit for that. But guess what? Let there be light. Scientist hope experiment, which can generate temperatures around 3,500 Celsius, will help to develop carbon neutral fuel. Sunlight produces 10,000 times the intensity of natural sunlight on Earth. German scientists are switching on the world's largest artificial sun in the hope that the intense light sources can be used to generate climate-friendly fuel. You see that? How many times have people taken pictures of that behind a cloak of chemtrails and put them out and been called crazy? It seems like once they release this, it's already been done. And this is no exception. What was I just saying yesterday? You'll never be justified. Nobody will ever say you were right. No one will ever say, sorry. Do you see this? Does this look ridiculously familiar? Exactly. Who told you about this? Where'd you hear about this? Who was the asshole with the tinfoil and the laptop that told you about this a long time ago and everyone was just like, you are so ignorant of science. It's ridiculous. No. No, I just saw it. It was easy. Common sense pretty much overrides a lot of things these days. And common sense is something nobody has anymore, it would appear. And common sense tells us this isn't an alternative to fuel because turning this thing on, according to what they're telling us, you have to remember everything has to go through the decoder ring before you can actually read it. Turning this on to produce four hours of quote-unquote man-made sunlight consumes a year's worth of power it takes to light a four-person family home for a year. So it's not really an alternative to anything, but you better start making alternatives now because Solar Shield is clearly up and running full speed. And that's why they're bringing artificial sunlight out into the art and public imagination. Ease it in slowly. You see what I mean? It's just, I'm not even going to use that analogy I was just going to come up with. But the way I sound right now is the way everybody sounds. Everybody has a adult allergy, which is a ludicrous label in the first place. It's either you're born, you're allergic to certain small things. But in the year 2000 and beyond, people now are allergic to everything as they're adults, which makes no sense. Look that up. You don't develop allergies. You have allergies, but I digress. People aren't meant to breathe in sulfuric acid, barium, strontium, aluminium, and then whatever else they're spraying all over us right now. But just so you know, certain channels have been right all along, and it's starting to come out in the news. I can't, I, it sounds like I say this every single day now, doesn't it? Right? Well, that's because it's coming out every single day now. And it's funny because every single article that's a kind of I told you so always has a biblical reference. For instance, yesterday, I forget what it was, but it was something about playing God. And now today it's let there be light. Do you see what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. Well, Richie, they're doing that inside a lab. Well, 
That's what they're telling us. They're doing inside the lab. But I've got people every single day, including this morning, sending me pictures of things like this in the sky behind the cloak of chemtrails, whether they're on high altitude balloons, whether they're on all those dirigibles, the big bum, like they called it. You remember what I was talking about here? Did you ever wonder why all of a sudden with all the technology they have now, they started making giant butt shaped airships that can remain in flight for a really long time? like this, and then they have them that are stealth that you can't see at all. So how many of these are up there floating around above the solar shield right now? You know what I'm saying? You don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. We can only guess. But I bet you one thing's for sure, that this can probably carry a variation of that. And we can't see because this is in the way. And that's all there is to it. Richie from Boston, like, share, subscribe, or don't. I'm out.